So let's say someone else is working on this project and they create a branch and they push that branch to GitHub. What do I need to do in order for me in my Xcode to have access to that branch? So let's go to GitHub and let's create a branch here. Normally, probably the branch would be created in somebody else's Xcode, but in order to illustrate this, since we have one user right now, let's do it here. So let's create a branch called uh, change message. So now we have a new branch that's a copy of master. And let's actually go make a change, go into hello world and into the view controller and down where it says, uh, say hello world, we're going to say, say hello universe. No, the say was the command. Hello universe is the text. There we go. So this is our big change on this branch. So let's, let's save this change. Scroll down, commit changes. So this branch, change message, if we go back to Xcode and we were to go up to source control and we said, uh, you know, switch to branch, it wouldn't be available to us. So how do I, Sean, get access to this branch? So to get access to this branch, you can use the command line. So open up the command terminal and I'm already there, but you have to actually navigate from the home directory to your repository. So ours is located under documents, projects. then projects, and then hello world. Once there, we need to run a git command. And that git command is git fetch dash dash all. What this is saying is that we want to fetch all changes that exist on GitHub, including branches. I'm gonna run this command right now. Notice that it says fetching origin, and you could think of that as the repository, and it even tells you what happened. New branch. So it, we now actually, and if I close this window, now go up to source control, master, switch branch, we now actually see change message in the origin and we can even then switch to that branch. So let's so, let's go ahead and switch because right now we don't actually have a local copy of that. It's only on origin. Exactly. So it knows that this branch exists on origin, but we don't actually have a local copy of it. If we had a local copy of it, it would be up here in local branches. So when I switch to this branch, it will actually switch to that branch and also create a local copy thereof. And, and, let's, and let's verify that. Um, go up and look and see that if we say switch to branch, it's now both in the local and the origin branches. So there's our hello universe, which you were about to point out. And this is now in a branch and it's not in master. Let's one more time show how we do a pull request and then merge it into master. So I'm gonna navigate back to hello world in our GitHub repository. We have our new recently pushed branch Let's compare and pull request, or we could have done new pull request right there. But doing this compare and pull request will automatically have our compare as change message. With that, it says update say message because that was our commit message. We could also name that as the branch or something that describes our changes thereof. If I navigate down, we can notice our changes, but I'm gonna create our pull request. Once I've created our pull request, it'll check if there was any conflicts if there was a conflict, it would tell you that you need to solve that issue. And it will also allow other reviewers, which you can actually assign by clicking reviewers and actually adding people to the project. Once they say, yes, it looks good, you can then click merge pull request, confirm merge. And notice it's saying I can delete branch if I would like. I'm gonna navigate back to hello world. Go to hello world. Hello world, view controller, and it'll now say hello universe and branch master. And so master doesn't know that about currently in Xcode on my own local repository. So we are currently in which branch? If so we go to source control, we're in change message. Let's switch to branch master. We can see it still says say hello world, 
but we know that we had merged on the server, so we're going to do a pull request. Not a pull request, a pull. Oh, sorry, a pull. Right, right. Very good. There's a difference between a pull and a pull request. So let's restate that. A pull is when I literally pull the updates from the server. A pull request is like saying to other people, go check this out. Exactly. So with that, I'm going to put push pull. And now it says hello, you verse. 